Coming up, what is a back-to-back cruise on the Carnival Celebration? Stay tuned. To the crow's nest! Hello, this is Randy Scroback. Welcome back, or welcome to my YouTube channel, Scrow's Nest. A back-to-back -back cruise is when you take two cruises in a row on the same ship. You may need to go through a brief check-in process, as we did between the two voyages. On the last day of our first of two cruises, the biggest issue in getting to the back-to-back -back cruiser's meeting point was that the only route crossed through the line of passengers who were disembarking. It was a huge traffic jam. Our meeting point was the Carnival restaurant located midship. We had to wait in the restaurant until all of the back-to-back -back cruisers, approximately 80 people, had checked in and all the disembarking passengers had left the ship. We waited for over an hour, received our new sail and sign cards, and disembarked as a group. One last time, we used our old sail and sign cards to disembark the ship. My wife and I had discussed doing a back-to-back -back cruise for years. However, we had a couple of requirements. Number one, the cruise ship had to be doing two different itineraries without any duplication of ports. Number two, we had to be able to book the same cabin on both cruises. However, if you cannot book the same cabin for both legs, a room steward will help move you to your new cabin. Both legs of our back-to-back -back cruise departed from and returned to Miami. Our first leg went to the Western Caribbean, was six nights, and included the ports of Costa Maya, Mexico, Roatan, Honduras, and Cozumel, Mexico. The second leg of our journey went to the Southern Caribbean, was eight nights and stopped at the ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. The advantages of doing a back-to-back -back cruise, especially on an XL-class ship like the Celebration are, that you have more time to explore the ship and enjoy its amenities, dining options, entertainment, pools, and onboard activities. With two distinct itineraries, passengers get to explore a diverse range of destinations. Before getting back on the ship, we had to check in with customs using either a passport or facial recognition. Fortunately, I had signed up for facial recognition. Once we cleared customs, we reboarded the ship Hello, and we sent us to our muster station. In our case, we went to Shebang Restaurant. Our new sail and sign cards were not yet activated, so the crew member had to add us to a list to document our attendance and then send us over to watch the required muster drill demonstration. Total time from when we left the Carnival Restaurant disembarked and reboarded was only about 20 to 30 minutes. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. It costs you absolutely nothing.